Boy, it's harder than I thought. Turns out orbiting the moon is no walk in the park. The four-person crew of Artemis II got to see the vessel that'll get them there for the very first time. Seeing the capsule for all of us uh, sent shivers down our spines. This is another major step of us going back to the moon. The mission, a 10-day lunar flyby with the hopes of confirming the presence of water reservoirs, all in preparation for Artemis III and its planned landing on the moon's south pole. This latest mission will be the first time humans have been near the moon since the Apollo program in 1972. That's one small step for man. But it will be a race to get there first. This time, the Russians aren't the competition. Naturally, I don't want uh, China to get to the South Pole first with humans and then say, this is ours. Stay out. NASA's mission is being led by Commander Reed Wiseman. And if they do get there first, on board will be a Canadian. You should have seen the reaction when uh, Reed brought the crew to Ottawa. Jeremy Hansen from London, Ontario. The success is in the learning that's happening like right now. Like learning is happening right while we're sitting here and stuff that is going to serve us on our ultimate objective. It is just a wonderful step that next step of exploration, not just visiting the moon as campers, but visiting the moon to stay longer. It's something that has many Canadians more excited than ever. Nobody under the age of 50 has ever looked up at the moon while somebody has either walked or orbited around the moon. You look at the moon differently when you know there's another human being around it. We're fired up. Fired up for hopefully lifting off in late 2024. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.